Uh, what kind of uh, – obviously, we saw that you had kind of – well, you started playing dive bars when you were really young. How would you kind of grab that gig and kind of get on that train? I mean, honestly, growing up in New York, they really didn't – you know, this is like in the 90s, they don't care. You can go to the Spiral and you can go to CBG, <laughs> you can go to those kind of places. And, you know, they'd sneak you in the back and you'd play and then they'd run you out, maybe be able to drink a couple of couple of half-empty beers you found lying around. <laughs> growing up to buy you a beer. To, you know, it's just kind of like just, yeah. you know, uh, nice. you know, we're probably 12, 12 years old. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, What kind of... So, so we, yeah, we saw that you kind of went to play in with me, like playing metal and stuff. What kind of, how do you take the make the transition from metal to kind of the Americana or American noir, as you call it, genre? How does like where's that kind of mind travel kind of? I guess I would always describe myself as a pretty reluctant metalhead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I always, I always enjoyed metal from kind of when I was in my. You know, I was a huge, huge Slayer fan when I was a kid. And sure. I mean, still am. And, but I'd always, you know, I'd grown up listening to a lot of folkier, you know, acoustic, I guess, like, proto-Americana stuff. Oh, and, okay. uh, you know, even, like, on our on our tour van that we had, you know, we'd, all three of us, we'd be like, you know, play some, you know, some awful metal show somewhere and then load up for... <laughs> For the drive, and you know, we'd be playing like Captain Beefheart or Jackson Brown or Tom oh. Van Zandt or something, you know, in the van. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of like it seemed almost like a logical conclusion that I got bored of playing metal and also wanted to tour in a manner that was kind of more stripped down. And, and I was like, oh, you know, I can I can try to write these songs. I wrote this, I've been, I wrote this kind of songs since I started writing songs anyway. I mean, they were really bad, but it was <laughs> kind of like I'd already, you know, it's. But it kind of was like, uh, what, it, what is that saying? Like switching for a different seat on the Titanic, you know? It's like, well, it's even more obscure than metal music. It's like, oh, solo, folky acoustic guitar. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Nonsense, you know, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah awesome. A different kind of hipster crowd. Yeah. <laughs> right, or, or of a very thin crowd. <laughs> Uh, tell me about the the term American Noir. Where did that come from? I don't know. I literally think I was just sitting around one day and I was like, thought it up and started kind of laughing to myself. And I was like, well, shit, if it amuses me, <laughs> I don't really care. You know, that's basically like my MO is to amuse myself. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, like I, uh, you know, I've got folk hero tattooed on my knuckles. <laughs> be really fucking funny. And it's, 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 a lot of people think it's really dumb, and, and you know they're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, also, I, also find it funny. I think it's awesome. <laughs> That's great.